What's a surefire way to know Rosh Hashanah is coming? Well, probably calendar, but also when I start to make these pumpkin streusel muffin tops. You know those recipes that your mom makes for like special occasions and that's it? So this is one of those. My kids smell this in the air, they know Rosh Hashanah is coming and they cannot wait. Because it's Rosh Hashanah, we want to sweeten these up a little bit more so we can have a happy sweet new year. We're going to actually make a streusel topping first. So we've got some flour here. It's really, really basic. We have some sugar. We have a little bit of cinnamon. And we have some coconut oil. And you want to just mix these up with a fork until you get a nice kind of shaggy crumb. Once you've got a nice coarse crumb just like that, set it aside, we're gonna build our muffin tops. You can also call these like soft cookies, but muffin tops really take it home. We're gonna add our dry ingredients right here in this bowl. So we've got some flour, we've got some baking soda and baking powder, and we have pumpkin pie spice. And just give these a little whirl. And now we mix up the wet ingredients. Now what's great about this, if you notice, there's no mixer. I am the mixer, so it's perfect for really quick, easy recipes. Even the kids can do it. And here you wanna add all of the wet ingredients. We've got our oil. We've got our chilled pumpkin puree. Brown sugar. Egg. vanilla, and a little pinch of salt. Salt belongs in all foods, sweet and savory. Now that our batter has come together, we're gonna go ahead and portion it out onto a parchment lined baking sheet and pop it in the oven at 350 degrees. Now, what's great about these is that it, they actually don't spread too much, so you can place a bunch of them near each other. You wanna leave a little bit of space, but you don't have to worry about them spreading. And now we top them with our crumbs. And you just wanna sprinkle them right over the top. This part is not really a conventional part of any recipe I've ever seen in my life, but I want them a little bit flatter than they are, and I told you they don't really spread, they don't really budge, so I help them out a little bit and I slam this down on the countertop. So just trust me and go for it. And it also helps the crumbs kind of adhere to the batter. Now off to the oven we go for about 10 to 12 minutes. Oh my gourd, these smell so good. Honestly, I'm surprised my kids haven't come into this kitchen to grab them. I wanna do that again, is that okay? <laughs> no, I hated that. See, again, I'm sorry, one more time. One noise, from what? I got it. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> SD's on fire. And, um. You were. Your camera. I know, but you weren't looking at me when I was starting to talk, so I like went slower. <laughs> That's what happened. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> 